Hi, uh, my name is Tanush Vora and I am the Senior Vice President and the Head for the India Technology Center for CA Technologies in India. So hi Tanuj, uh, first of all many many congratulations on your appointment. Uh, so tell us about your immediate focus area for the India Technology Center. Sure, um, as, you, as you probably know this is literally my first month on the job. I just uh, I just started last month and uh, I, I had a, a couple of reasons for joining. I have spent about 20 years in the industry. I spent the first 15 years uh, primarily focused on building software and then I spent the last five years actually deploying software at scale at one of the largest IT organizations uh, across the world. As I thought about the next step in my journey, uh, CA Technologies uh, stood out for a couple of reasons. One. As I looked at the the the, the experience that CA is uh, talking about from a perspective of modern software factory, uh, it's it's a it's an experience that is actually resonating with our customers phenomenally, and it resonated with me as well. Now, modern software factory, which has its four pillars around agility, around automation, around security, and insights. Uh, it, it spans a spectrum of the application life cycle that is, is current and relevant for almost everybody today. Mm -hmm. uh, it provides an opportunity to you know, talk about not just point product solutions, but the end-to-end -end development life cycle and how we can actually make our customers successful using that. So that was one big reason is the modern software factory messaging from CA that uh, was very interesting and I wanted to be a part of that journey. The second one was obviously uh, about talent. As I looked at CA Technologies and ITC, uh, we have uh, a very, uh, we have in fact one of our largest development centers across CA in India. And, uh, and the ability to be able to go and make a difference with the talent, make sure that we were able to hire and retain the world-class talent, make sure that they were uh, super successful in what they did and, and to make sure that we were able to build a culture of very sound engineering practices and fundamentals was a key uh, for my joining. The third one was really to make sure that we drive a grassroots culture of innovation, a focus on innovation from the grounds up, and, and I, we can talk a lot more about that. So those three were, were primarily my reasons for, for being a part of CA. AI and ML are the industry's buzzwords. So how does these trends fit in CA technologies overall scheme of innovation. Great. Uh, as we as we think about AI and ML, it's it's really about uh, using historical data to be able to unlock the uh, you know the potential of what decisions and and uh, uh, outcomes we drive in the future. It's it's not uh, just a trend or a buzzword anymore. AI and ML are just ubiquitous and, and pretty much everywhere. You know, I read an article this morning which talked about how um, AI and uh, trends are being used to, for example, do simple things like decide on consumer patterns and behaviors and what clothes people are going to be wearing this Diwali season. Now, that's an example of uh, an area where AI is getting used. Uh, or, uh, or, or obviously looking at machine learning in terms of solving mission critical problems in the industry. I'll give you one example of how we are looking at it at uh, Computer Associates. Uh, at CA Technologies, we've got uh, a very large legacy uh, mainframe work, uh, product and, and in business. And in that sense, uh, we're dealing with a problem of uh, a very aging workforce. Uh, there was a study recently done by IBM that said uh, by the year 2020, we're going to need uh, about 37,000 jobs opening up as people retire from that workforce. Now the challenge is as people come in anew, it's going to be very hard for them to you know, pick up all of that legacy knowledge that's been there uh, for decades uh, with these uh, power users. Uh, what we decided to do was uh, leverage AI and leverage machine learning to be able to actually uh, you know, improve the intelligence in terms of how do we find patterns of problems uh, and, and move from a world where we are reactive to a world where we are proactive and predictive in terms of solving uh, problems dealing with, you know, downtime in terms of uh, our infrastructure and hardware, uh, components that might be running slowly, how do we do remediation faster, and so on. So 
you know you can take a uh, legacy technology and 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 still use these uh, uh, buzzwords like ai and ml and and make a significant impact what key developments in digital transformation that ca technology is nurturing at present from india technology center we we're we're, uh, we're we're about a fourth of the entire workforce for uh, ca technologies worldwide and and as part of that uh my teams are responsible for working on approximately you know, 40 to 50% of all of the product portfolio that we have we've got uh, some really cutting edge uh, work happening literally across every uh, component or product line or business unit that we can think about i'll, I'll give you a few examples uh, so when we talk about innovation uh, we have a program at ca called uh, the, the CA accelerator program and, and, and the way it works is think of it as a lean startup where if somebody organically comes up with an idea uh, we provide them a little bit of funding we provide them some support in terms of mentoring and and, and execution help and, and help them blossom it uh, one of the first programs that are one of the first uh, outcomes of the CA accelerator program was uh, in the area of advanced analytics and, and there's a program called Jarvis that is actually being done at, uh, in, in my Bangalore office where we're able to take uh, not just again going with traditional BI but taking advanced analytics and be able to you know, build software components that can be deployed across multiple products. Uh, so that's, that's an example of some cutting edge innovation work that is being done uh, by our teams at CA. If I look at uh, you know, everything from uh, payment security, uh, you think about credit card transactions and and literally as all of the major banks across the world use uh, online transactions uh, using credit cards, um, our software is behind the scenes and so the work done by my teams again is being used uh, in terms of uh, making sure that those transactions are secure. Uh, we can look at single sign-on and that's something that as we look at large enterprises, almost ubiquitously across the board, uh, people are using uh, single sign-on as a capability. Uh, the stats around that are uh, literally in, insane in terms of volumes. And again, some of those core technologies are being developed out of the India Technology Center. If I were to look at uh, you know, some of our uh, very critical components of our lifecycle like uh, service management, again, a large part of the service management portfolio uh, that we have is also uh, based out of the India Technology Center. So it's a, it's a very broad spectrum of uh, technology pieces that are being done um, and with, a, with a lot of core innovation happening across the board. How will you be addressing the challenges of talent lacking industry to ensure seamless help to your customers? Uh, great question. We, we have we, we live in times when there is uh, you know acute shortage of great talent across the industry. And, uh, and and talent continues to be our biggest focus area in terms of being able to not just you know retain uh, the world class talent that we have, but also to be able to acquire new talent uh, from the marketplace. There are there are multiple ways we are going about and doing it. You know, first and foremost, uh, it's about making sure that we have the right environment for our talent uh, within. Uh, our, our environment within offices. So, for example, everything from providing them with a world-class facility, the best-in-class benefits, making sure that we are taking care of, you know, their needs, uh, even as something as rudimentary as providing a Montessori on campus to be able to uh, make sure that working mothers can actually you know, have a place for their kids. Uh, there are multiple investments being done uh, across CA Technologies to make sure that uh, the place that we work at is you know, best in class and certainly world class. So that's one aspect of it. It's also on making sure that we are paying competitively. But more than that, it's making sure that once the talent is in there, they have an opportunity to work on you know, literally cutting edge technologies, be it blockchain, be it machine learning, be it AI, uh, cognitive, natural language processing. Uh, and so there's a healthy mix of new opportunities for that talent to work on and and uh, you know and, and experiment with we've created a lot of programs uh, for that talent to be uh, very successful uh, in in terms of experimentation i'll give you a, a few examples 
we, we started a, a program we call CA Garage. And it's a it's an environment where you know people can come in and learn about new technologies. Uh, they have a hardware lab, so they can tinker with you know IoT devices and so on to be able to uh, just uh, figure out how to uh, take some of these new technologies and 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 play with them and then bring them back into their products. So they've done some tinkering in terms of you know playing and making some robots, finding out some ways of uh, creating uh, unique scenarios using say uh, uh, Alexa and integrating voice with with being able to do some actions. And then you take the same technologies and take them back to the products and make them uh, better. Uh, another example of uh, our talent investments is we've got we've got um, you know in areas like uh, we've already talked about the CA accelerator program, which is like a lean startup. Uh, we've also got a lot of other uh, uh, channels for for our employees to to, to be productive. Um, we have a we have a lab we call Comade and 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 that's called Communication Aid which provides you a very comprehensive set of tools to be able to improve your communication skills, for example. Uh, we've got another setup called TechAid, uh, which allows you to make sure that you have access to over 5,000 leading publications across the world and be current with respect to your you know, skills in terms of current technology trends and so on. We have one of the most robust uh, patent programs across the industry and so we encourage grassroots innovation and also patenting that innovation. Uh, last year, if I, if I can recall correctly, I think 20 to 25 percent of all patents filed by CA worldwide came out of the India Technology Center. So that focus on innovation, that focus on making sure that there is the right growth and development for the employee is key part of that experience and that hopefully makes sure that the talent really stays engaged and, uh, and thrives. What would be three emerging trends that you foresee shaping business? Uh, great question. I think as we as we look at uh, the industry and look at you know, where we are going, uh, I, I see I see broadly three categories of things. One is uh, we we already talked about AI and machine learning across the board. And I think that's that's. Uh, we, we talked about the areas where that's applicable, but being able to just eliminate waste from various processes, the ability to be able to not just be reactive, but be more proactive in terms of how we look at uh, certain problem statements and, and work towards them. Uh, AI and machine learning are fundamentally changed the game for uh, uh, customers worldwide and, and CA Technologies is uh, trying to be at the forefront of that and make sure that you know we are leveraging that across our product ecosystem. Uh, as I think about uh, other trends uh, or, or you know other things that are that are happening out there, uh, one of them is around just data and analytics. Uh, we're we're living in a world where we have information overload and. We're constantly looking for ways to be able to make sense of the data that we have and the patterns that are there and be able to uh, uh, provide actionable insights uh, with the data that is there at our disposal. A third thread that I can think of is really in the area of digital identity. There is, there is a lot of work being done, whether it is around you know, using technology such as blockchain, or uh, voice and some of the cognitive recognition stuff, or just you know looking at how we can you know leverage security and, and various aspects of it to ensure that your digital identity getting is getting preserved. Uh, you're, you're familiar with uh, the Aadhaar program uh, you launched by the UADI uh, out of India and and several other leading economies worldwide that are doing some things in that area. So that that's an area where you know making sure that. Uh, we have the right tools that are disposable to be able to keep our digital identity secure uh, is, is certainly an area that we're thinking about and, and CA is uh, playing a big role in that area.